gentlemen welcome back to the channel today is a very exciting day sitting in the back seat we have all four wheels and the entire lift kit and there's our tires i can't believe all that fit in the back seat of this truck that is crazy so as usual we are on our way down to jc alignment in huntington beach jc does all of my lift kit needs i wouldn't go anywhere else so if you guys need any lift kit stuff done to your car or your truck and yes i did say car you can lift your car if you'd like not my thing, but you can. Really hope I don't lose my good ride quality out of this truck by installing a three and a half inch kit because if there's one thing I love about this truck right now, it's how smooth it is. JC, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I know I'm late. I, I, I have no excuse. I had to pull up real quick to get one final good look of the Ram as it sits right now. Side note, I cannot believe I paid extra for these wheels. Anyways, this truck is going to look completely different by the end of today. I cannot wait. Like I said, we are extremely late, and I also don't want to stand by this power station for too much longer either, so let's go. Just like that, we are here at JC's Alignment, Suspension, and they do auto repair. I can't believe everything fit in the back of this truck. Four wheels and the lift kit fit back here. It's in here. It's pretty brilliant. Beautiful day for me to forget my sunglasses in the Ram. My eyes are on fire, but... Well, what better time than now while we wait for the Ram to get finished up with the lift kit to install the wrap on the roof of the Civic. Definitely gonna require some sanding in a lot of areas. today so I apologize for the wind noise but what yeah that looks that looks pretty sick now that we have both the hood and the roof done I love how the hood runs right into the roof line super clean look what do you guys think about continuing the carbon fiber wrap all the way down to the trunk lid that might look kind of sick yo that is so sick what? Dude. That's so crazy. Hey, look at this. Do you have any upper control arm? Yeah, the wrap's coming soon, too. Yeah, wrap's coming soon, too. You go around all this stuff, it's crazy. It all comes off. Oh, oh, you have, oh, you have to take everything off. Everything, everything oh, comes off, comes off. Oh, okay. then you wrap behind it. I get, I get it. Yeah. So you take the lights out everything? Yep. 
Yeah, okay. well, I wrap. I can wrap around a lot of things like this. I can tuck it behind. Oh, okay. But, but this yeah, aren't this aren't moving. Yeah. The screen or the double sided. They normally screwed in emblems like the badges. Those are those are glued on. These are generally screwed. Where do I begin? I see the hate. They don't wanna see me win. Bank deposits. I got more coming in. Top down. Throw the money in the wind. I don't want it. Oh. Heard these scammer had to switch up the accounts. Moving paper, gotta call up my account. It's all in, I can't have it coming out. Been through the struggle, I can see another drop. Yeah, it's not a purse, it's a merch. Six figures, what's a gold? Now it's nine or a hearse. Put it work. Used to pull up, now I swerve. No time for the snakes, time to put them in the dirt. That's work. I gotta get it, it's in my DNA. You only see the highlights, don't know what it takes. Last year, stress and got no I don't know how this drone has survived everything I have put it through. It just hit a tree and this time it kept flying. Interesting. Wow, so first impressions in the newly lifted RAM on the three and a half inch lift kit from Ready Lift. I'll start by saying this, we didn't lose ride quality at all, literally one bit. It still rides the exact way it did when I drove it off the lot. This whole combination turned out perfect. Lift combo with the wheels, with the tires, Everything turned out flawless. The ratio of everything put together looks just right. Like the tires aren't too big for the lift. The lift isn't too big for the tires. Everything is fitting just right. And now the truck is sitting perfectly level with the three and a half in the front and the two inch in the rear. So yeah, I'm pretty happy right now. So we have the Toyo Open Countries. They are a 295, 70, 18, which is basically a 34 by 11 and a half. The wheels are an 18 by nine with a five inch backspace and the lug pattern is six on five and a half. This is my first time running a Toyo Open Country. I have no experience with these in the past. This is my first time, but I can say this so far, they are a pretty quiet tire as they are an all terrain. They're not a mud terrain, so they're a little less aggressive on the tread pattern, which is good. Therefore, we can benefit from some better gas mileage as my truck is on pavement for 98% of its life. So having something more suitable for the streets is ideal for me, so yeah. Now hopping up under here, we have the billet aluminum spacer up top. There's also one mounted down below the strut as well. Here we have a nice heavy duty upper control arm that corrects our ball joint angle as this is a three and a half inch lift in the front. And coming around the back, we have a two inch spacer sitting right here up top right above the coil and down below, we also have a block that extends the bump stop. So that's pretty much the gist of the lift kit. It's all pretty straightforward stuff. It's all bolt on, which is amazing as well. Now the million dollar question, did I lose any power by stepping up to a, basically a 34 inch tire on factory gear? Well, the answer is no, literally not at all. In fact, allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> yeah, see? Not at all. Do keep in mind, we have a 392 on the axle, so that could be why. From what I'm experiencing so far, the 392 on the 34s is nice. It's really nice. You might be stepping out of bounds just a little bit by putting 35s on a 392. I really don't know for sure. I'm just speaking based off the experience I'm having right now with the 34 on the 392. But I do know there's more to consider when choosing your axle gearing and your tire size. Depends on if you want better city torque, better highway torque, better MPG on the highway versus the city, better tow. There's more things to consider. It all depends on what you're looking for. Ask the professionals because I am not the best person to ask for advice on that. That's a whole another science in itself. Since we are out here, I figured I would take a couple of photos of the truck for the gram. If you guys have not already, follow me on Instagram, Mark underscore Brenner, linked right here in the description below. Guys, what do you think of the newly lifted Ram? Crazy. Totally changes the entire presence of this truck. Whole new attitude, crazy. Also, it appears that someone has hit the scene before me. That cannot be good for your tires on this kind of asphalt. So side note about the tires, they are a 295.70, which is an 11 and a half inch wide. That was a Mercedes. Um, but anyways, 
These are a 295 70, which is an 11 and a half inch wide, just about, and they have little to no poke on my truck, which is exactly what I was going for because the last thing I want is for the tires to stick out past the fenders and kick everything up off the road onto the side of my truck. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now let's talk about ReadyLift as a company as they are relatively new. The company kicked off in 2006 and it was just six dudes who came together here in my hometown of Costa Mesa. Started out with a goal to come up with something in between a leveling kit and a full-blown lift kit that puts your truck in the cloud. Something kind of the best of both worlds. A little more aggressive than a leveling kit, but not quite up there in the realm of six to nine inches of lift. Something that was relatively installation friendly as well that did not require you cutting parts off of your truck to install it. That was a huge selling point for me, having everything be bolt on my truck. Therefore, they came out with their mid-level lift kit or as they refer to it, the SST kit, as you see on my truck behind me. Even though they first started out trying to conquer the mid-level lift kit market, they have recently stepped in to the full-blown lift kit segment for most full-size trucks. Ready Lift is no longer here in Costa Mesa. They moved as they expanded, but they are still here in California, which is also good to know that everything they engineer and manufacture is done in the good old US of A. Speaking of California, here's a fun fact. Out here, which your state is probably different, out here in California, your headlights can't be any more than 54 inches from the ground. California also doesn't want you doing a body lift more than five inches from the frame. When it comes to the frame, you cannot be more than 27 inches from the ground if your vehicle is under 4,500 pounds gross weight. Now keep in mind that is different than the curb weight. Curb weight is the car or the truck with absolutely nothing in it. No people, no animals, no groceries, nothing in the bed, no fuel, nothing. Nothing is accounted for with curb weight. Gross weight is the weight including fuel, driver, passengers, cargo, tools, everything in and on your truck itself. It's the legal amount of payload your truck can haul including its own weight if you were to put it on a scale minus what you're towing. Example being this, a 2020 Silverado 4x4 crew cab, the curb weight of that is about 4,900 pounds, but the gross weight is 7,000 pounds. So yeah, that is a about 2,000 pound difference. And if you wanna find where your curb weight and your gross weight is, it's right here on the tag in your door jam. And since we are talking trucks, anything that is 45, I think 4501 to 7,500 pounds, it's 30 inches from the ground. And anything 7501 to 10,000 pounds, is going to be 31 inches, so an inch more of lift if you are up to 10,000 pounds. I believe there is a max limit that your roof line can be. I don't know what it is, but I believe California has a lift limit on the roof line as well. Man, I am so happy with this new Ram. It is such a beautiful truck, and I really hope you guys like it too. I know I took a pretty hard turn hopping onto the Ram boat, but I know it will grow on you guys if it has not already. I have a lot of plans in the works for this truck, it is going to be quite a piece of art. Man, this is so cool. I love this, I love cars, I love trucks, I love the automobile. I've never been too into performance or breaking performance records, but if you have a vision and you get to bring it to life when as a kid all you would do is build cars on either video games, model kits, sneak stickers on your mom's car just to have some sort of mod done, to flash forward having something like this and to turn it into a piece of art is really a dream come true. It's so motivating to make me work harder. These trucks are not cheap, but man, it is so worth it. It is so worth it. This truck is so sick. I hope you guys like it too. So what do you guys think about doing the exact same color we wrapped the Silverado with on the new Ram? The Satin Flip Volcanic Flare. Red and gold color changing wrap. Do that on the Ram too. Hmm. Let me know your thoughts on that. That is all I have for you guys today. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out.